Hi, my name's Karen, and I'm going to talk about the theory of retrogenesis today. The theory of retrogenesis is simply we are once a man, twice a child. We start out in life as a child, and we depend on others for, to take care of our needs. We become a man, we fall into a routine, we know how to take care of our own needs, but as we age, we begin to lose our physical and cognitive abilities, so we need, need the help of others. So one of the questions I ask caregivers when I'm, um, I have a large group is, if they're parents, when you brought your new baby home and it was crying, what were some of the things that you checked for um, in an attempt to soothe it? And the checklist usually reads something like, it needs its diaper changed, maybe it's hungry, maybe it's cold, Maybe it needs some attention. Maybe it's had too many visitors today and it's overstimulated. Maybe it's sick. These are all things that we may go through in an attempt to soothe the, the baby. And we do that because the baby's crying is its only way of communicating a need. The same thing happens as we age and we begin to lose cognitive abilities. Um, those the loss of our cognitive and physical abilities may come out as what some might consider an undesirable behavior. The same principle applies when we are dealing with a person who's lost maybe some of their cognitive or physical abilities. We need to go through that same checklist because as they age and lose their abilities, they lose the ability to tell us when they're hungry. They may lose the ability to tell us that the sweater they're wearing is too itchy. Uh, they may lose the ability to let us know when they have to go to the bathroom. One of the ways that we attend to our child's needs is by getting it into a routine. The same applies for the person in our care who needs our help. We need to go through that same checklist of making sure there are no unmet needs. The behaviors that we observe in a person with cognitive or physical disabilities is a result of not being able to communicate those needs. Here are some of the things that we can do to become more proactive to the needs of the loved one in our care who may have lost some of their cognitive or physical abilities. The first would be to getting, get them into a regular meal and snack routine at regular intervals for a couple of reasons. Uh, if the person's diabetic, it's extremely important and by doing so, we may be able to cut back on some of the medication that they are taking to manage their diabetes by keeping their blood sugar at an even keel. Um, and for a person who doesn't have diabetes, if you miss a meal, a lot of times the person gets a bit cranky or has a headache. Um, another way that we can help them with their needs is making sure that we get into a regular routine of administering the medications keeping their medication level even in their, their blood system is going to help with behaviors and help their overall feeling of, of well-being. Someone is refusing to bathe. Um, one of the things that we need to consider is what was their old routine? Did they take a shower or did they take a bath? I think for a lot of caregivers, it's easy to get them in, or we think it's going to be easy to get them into a shower, but if a person has taken a bath all their life, if you're trying to get them into the shower, you may not be as easy as we would like it to be. So if we can get them into the bathtub, that's even better. But remembering too, what time of the day was normal for them? Did they take a shower in the morning? Did they take a bath in the morning? Did they take a bath in the evening? Keeping those things in mind. If they've had a sudden change in their behavior, they've gone from being happy most of the time, pleasantly confused. When we see a sudden change, there might be another health issue at play, so we need to make sure that's attended to. Do they have an infection? Do they have a belly ache? Is, are the shoes that they're wearing too tight? Are the clothes too tight? Are they too itchy? Those are all things that we need to check and rule out the uncomfortableness that they might be feeling. If the person in your care is asking for someone, maybe a mother, a father, a sibling, their husband, and that person's no longer with us, it's kind of hard to meet that need. 
but maybe they're asking for that person because they just need the attention they would have gotten from that person at this, at this time. So give them a hug. That might be the only thing that they need. Are they having troubles with sleeping? Getting them into a regular routine of activity through the day is going to help them sleep a little bit better in the evening. Another thing that you can look at is their medications. While it's great to get them into a medication routine and adhere to the doctor's instructions, maybe there's a medication that they take right now during the day that might be better to take in the evening because maybe it makes them a little bit sleepy. So to help them with their sleep routine, keep them active throughout the day and make sure that the medications that we are giving them are given at the appropriate time of day. As a person ages, their body begins to change. They may, may become more sedentary and cause weight gain. They may not recognize when they're hungry. They may be taking medications that lessens their appetite and so there's a weight loss. We need to be more proactive and attentive to what's going on with their weight by monitoring their weight, making sure that their clothes is well fitting. Uh, one of the other changes that happens as we age is our skin begins to thin. So maybe they're not warm enough. So we need to make sure that they're dressed appropriately for the temperature. We need to get them to the dentist to make sure their dentures are fitting properly. When all else has failed, and they still seem uncomfortable or cranky, and their behavior has changed, it may be time for a doctor appointment, a visit for the, to the doctor. Have them order some lab work, make sure that they're in otherwise healthy condition. If they are, and you're still dealing with a change in behavior that is less than desirable, maybe you just need some extra help in the home. Maybe you could enlist a family member or look into home care or other services out there. Thank you for watching and we'll have more caregiving tips coming up soon.